Hello everybody. Here's just another video on how I fixed my Samsung LNS4892 DX slash XAA. The symptoms of the TV were power on, backlight would come on momentarily, would go off, I would have audio but no picture. I might add that occasionally uh, a picture would appear and start up it might last for only a couple of seconds, but uh, for the most part, uh, the backlight would go off and I would have no picture and I would only have audio. So here's how I fixed it. The first thing I did as an amateur was to just study all the videos I could out there on YouTube and read everything I could. There were some excellent videos by two professionals. One of them, NorCal 715, N-O-R-C-A-L 715, and the other one by 12 volt vids 1 2 VOL TV IDS. Uh, neither of them had this specific model in their videos, but they gave me enough information about inverters and inverter boards to be able to troubleshoot mine and to fix it. So here's a shout out to them for their excellent educational videos. Incidentally, all the videos out there told me that I should concentrate on the TCON board, which is right behind this cover right here. So I got a replacement TCON board and that didn't do anything. So I decided that perhaps I was having some issues with the inverter board and based on those two excellent videos understood that if one of these inverter transformers failed it would send a signal back to the uh, main board to shut down. So I decided that that's what was, was what was happening. I just took a guess that perhaps I would have had a fault on one of these uh, transformers. As you can see, there are 24 on this side, and then there's another 24 over on the left side underneath that cover. So the way I thought about it was 48 opportunities for a failed inverter transformer. And I didn't have any schematic for this, and I didn't know what the pinouts were, so I just randomly guessed and took as many voltage readings as I could at the inputs, or what I thought were the inputs to the transformers, and what I thought were the outputs of the transformers, and tried to identify the one that was behaving differently from all the others. Uh, that's a little bit tricky because the, the things would fire up, and as I said, the system would shut down, so you can only get momentary readings. But I did figure it out and let me just show you some of the things I found and perhaps this will help you on this set or uh, help you in troubleshooting other inverter transformers on other Samsung sets or other sets that utilize a lot of these inverter transformers. So here's the inverter board from one side. The inverter boards are interchangeable so the left one can be used on the right and the right one can be used on the left and the reason that that's possible is because this connector here is duplicated down here. So this allows you to flip the board either this way or this way and have the ability to access the appropriate connector. So that's pretty handy. So I probed around on it and spent a lot of time looking at it trying to figure out what was going on with the transformers. So let me explain uh, what I know about the transformers. I initially kept thinking that this side of the transformer here and here that these were the outputs and that this side of the transformer these were the inputs. Sort of made sense to me since the backlights were all connected to these plugs and there was no other circuitry between this side of the transformers and these plugs. There's no, there are no circuits on the, on the back side. I said, those certainly must be the outputs of those transformers. Well, it turns out they are not the outputs. There's no voltage reading between here and here or between here and here. So let me show you what it really is all about. Here's one of the transformers right here. I've got it on the left and I've drawn it up on a circuit on a piece of paper for you. 
these pins right here at the, the top, the four pins at the top, I kept thinking were the output. Turns out that the output is this pin here and this pin here. And the input to the transformer is down here on pins, let's call them pins one, two, three, and four. So pins one and four are the input. These two pins are the output. You'll notice I have some little lines inside the outline of the device. These three leads are connected to each other and these three are connected to each other as is uh, this short lead here is connected to this one. But the device is only soldered down into uh, to the board in uh, let's see seven eight, eight places one two three four five six seven eight nine excuse me nine places so there are nine solder connections one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight nine but only four of them matter you'll notice the resistances that I've noted here this is these are out of, this is out of circuit so this is with this transformer off the board. I'm reading about 1.9 ohms from pins 1 to 4. And I'm reading 1 point, let's call it 1.6K from here to here, so across the output. And if you, in fact, decide you want to test this board and don't want to power it up, and Actually, that's probably a really good idea if you can test the components on this board without firing up. The voltages are very, very high in here, and I really didn't want to be messing with them. I did mess with them, and I did do a lot of testing with them hot. But now that I've dissected this, I thought I'd show you how to test it cold. So no power on it. Uh, you'll be able to identify the bad transformer. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any new transformers. A complete new inverter board was very inexpensive. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of transformers that I'll probably put up on eBay for sale because somebody's probably looking for one. And if you don't want to replace a complete board, that's a, a cheap way to go. So I've got the camera down on the meter. What I'm going to do is just, I'm going to just read the resistances on the first six transformers. I'm not going to read through all 48 of them, but I'll just demonstrate with six of them. I'm going to take the resistance reading between here and here. Hope you can see that. And I just shout them out and you can watch the meter the first one which is the defective one 1.272 K ohms second one 1.618 1.583 fourth one 1.595 fourth one 1.576 and the sixth one, 1.596 K ohms. So those measurements were done. The board's still attached to the set and no power on the set. I might add, I have this TV vertical. I would not recommend working on it in a vertical position like I have it. I was just cleaning some other things up, but this is not the way to work on this TV. Definitely lay it flat down on its face. So again, those resistance readings were taken from this point here, or these two points here. They're one and the same, and this point down here. And Perhaps viewed on this diagram, maybe a bit more helpful. Viewed on this diagram, it was taken from this point, which is the same as this point or this point, and this this pin down here. 
So you can see the in circuit and the out of circuit resistances are about the same, all in the 1.5, 1.6 range. And the defective transformer was reading around 1.2 something uh, in my case. On most of the circuit boards, many of you are dealing with the uh, connectors are pretty obvious in terms of how the connectors plug in and out. For example, like on this one, you pull the plug straight out. But on this particular connector, you pull the plug straight up, straight up toward the camera. And I like to just come in with a little pick and pull the connector up on these two corners. But there's a video out there if you want to take a look at that in any greater detail. So again, thanks for watching. Be safe. Make sure you're unplugged when you're doing all this. And if uh, this is beyond your skill or expertise, uh, do not attempt it. These voltages, again, on these inverter boards are in, in televisions in general are extremely dangerous. Depending on when you're watching this video, it's possible I may have some of these uh, for sale out on eBay. Just search on LTW-46H. So if this helped you at all, please help me by subscribing.